They're talking about this Marnie show being lyrical and poetic, but actually the big word of the season is melancholy. And we've got a perfect day for it. When does this melancholic mood descend? I mean, why does it descend? The weather. I mean, we're here in Milan, it's snowing. There is something new going on here. There's something magical going on. They have a kind of slight melancholia about them. That, with the poetry of this collection, makes it really, really intellectual. But there's a sort of precision about it that I think is very new. I thought it was sombre, but quite minimalistic. And I and, and kind of went back to what I remember Marnie starting as, with those very kind of simple shapes and go back to her kind of fur treatment and the way she's kind of using fur to kind of create texture and 3D interest. I felt like it was more like this girl that was outside. You know, it was almost like these masculine sort of men's, almost like soldier boots. So I like the idea of this almost like um, slightly more androgynous feeling to the hair, not so whimsical and soft. So although it still had the sort of poeticness and the texture of Marnie girl, she was a little bit more austere in a way. I love the big soft bags and the soft tunics and that evening look with the kind of three different layers of wool and then fur and then another kind of treatment around the shoulder. I thought the coats were absolutely fantastic. Is there room for eccentricity there? Always. I think the wonderful thing about Marnie is we're not at all a kind of like a dictatorship. You know, there's always room for lots of different kind of women to interpret it how they want.